Hello everybody, Rosita here, your go-to vocal and language coach here at takelessons.com and welcome to another episode of Beginning Spanish Sentence Structures. Today we are going to learn how to use the verb poder. We're going to learn how to ask permission and learn how to say that you are able to do something. Let's get started. So the sentence structure that we're going to focus on for both asking permission and making an affirmative sentence will be the verb poder in its conjugated form the verb in its finitive form, and the thing that you are requesting to do. So the verb poder is actually a stem changing verb. This will be an O to UE stem change. Now stem change verbs are not necessarily irregular verbs. We're just essentially adding an extra step. I will have another video very soon um, in my verb conjugation series on how to work with the different types of stem changing verbs. All right, so poder, which means you can or you're able to do something. So let's check out the conjugations of poder, shall we? All right, first we have yo puedo, tú puedes, él puede. Ella puede. Usted puede. Nosotros, nosotras podemos. Ellos pueden. Ellas pueden. Y ustedes pueden. Now please note that in the first, second, and third person singular, the yo, tú, él, ella, and usted, and the third person plural, the ellos, ellas, and ustedes, we're changing from P-O-D to P-U-E-D. So essentially, we're, we're changing that O to the U-E. Now for nosotros in the vosotros form, you don't have to worry about stem changing anything. One less thing to worry about. Si yo quería decir, if I wanted to say, I can speak Spanish, well, Let's check out the conjugation chart. Here we go. First, how would I say I can in Spanish? I can. It would be yo puedo. Good job, yes. Then I'm going to add the verb in its infinitive form, hablar, and the thing that I'm able to do. And then we're gonna add español. Yo puedo hablar español. Now, if you wanted to convert this into a question, if I'm asking you, let's use the third person singular, usted, the formal way of saying you. Usted puede hablar español? So instead of doing the inflection going down to create an affirmative sentence, just make it go up. Usted puede hablar español? Can you speak Spanish? Now, this sentence structure can apply to all of the conjugations. Also, depending on the context, you can use this to ask permission. Por ejemplo, ¿Puedo ir al baño? Can I go to the bathroom? When you're using the sentence structure, or question structure in this case, this would be the English equivalent of may I use the bathroom? Now, if you want it to be extra formal, we can conjugate poder in the conditional tense, where we most often translate poder to, por ejemplo, podría. So which could mean like, which means I could. Podría. Let's check out the conjugations for this tense of verb. Podría, meaning I could. Podrías, you could. Él, ella, usted, podría. He could, she could, it could, or you could. Podríamos, we could. Podrían, they could, or you all could. We're going to use the same sentence structure with the same rules. So if you wanted to request permission, podría ir al baño? Could I go to the bathroom? Or podría ir al baño? I could go to the bathroom. 
Remember, to request permission, we always want to begin with the word puedo, which in this context is going to mean may I. Then you're going to add the verb in its infinitive form and add some details if it's necessary. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can leave your questions in the comment section below or better yet, if you want a quicker response, check out my profile here at takelessons.com. Click that button that says ask Rosita a question and all questions do go directly to me. And if you guys are interested in private lessons, you can also find more information about me, availability, and check out my reviews from hundreds of students. All right, until next time, guys. Nos vemos. Ciao.